This tortured desert landscape just outside Palm Springs in California is the bones of the earth, pushed up by two million years of constant movement from earthquakes. We went for a ride inside America's most unlikely tourist attraction, the infamous San Andreas Fault. The rock breaks and moves at the fault line. That's what the fault is. 1,300 kilometres long, the San Andreas can be just a crack in the ground at some points, but here the fault zone is up to three kilometres wide. If I hold the right side and push the way the hill is slowly moving, look how this magazine slowly folds. That's how that hill got there. Its peacefulness belies the damaging and sometimes deadly consequence of the power that is unleashed here. I mean, there's earthquakes out here every day. Um, there's probably over 300 earthquakes a month in this valley. This shows the power of the San Andreas Fault. On this side, the Pacific Plate, the largest in the world, extending all the way through Japan. On this side, the North American Plate, which travels through Canada and finishes in Iceland. Doesn't look like it, but they're constantly on the move across each other, up to five centimetres a year. Imagine just putting your hands on a tablecloth and squeezing your palms together. All these layers of rock are tilted up at 45 and even 90 degree angles. Morgan Levine gave up a job as an art appraiser to be a tour guide along the San Andreas. Yeah, well, this is art. <laughs> it's uh, Mother Nature's palette here. But there are fears that deep inside this fault, a catastrophic earthquake is brewing. And uh, we've had historic quakes on it, and more will come. Uh, geologists say we're 10 months pregnant for the next big one. The last really big shaker that we've had here uh, that was a 7, 8, 8, was about uh, 1680. We should have one about every 20 years. So we really are way overdue for a major earthquake. And when the big one does come, this is probably not where you'd want to be. In the San Andreas Fault, Mike Amore, Seven years.